Don't speak with your mouth full. Okay, so restaurant etiquette is just common sense, but they, of course, can be some rules that are a little bit confusing for you. So here to show us good table manners is Susan Von Hellens. She's the director of the Protocol School of Phoenix. It's an organization specializing in teaching etiquette. Welcome to you. Thank you. Thank okay, you. I have my elbows on the table. Off. Off the table. That's still a rule. Off. How about my cell phone? Off. Off. Oh my goodness, I have my cell phone on. I have everything going on. <laughs> that's not supposed to. What about if I get to the table and I have chewing gum in my mouth? Swallow it. Swallow it. Swallow it. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you so much for clarifying some of those. Susan, what exactly have you seen trending out when it comes to table manners and etiquette? Are people just downright rude these days? They talk with their mouth full of food. They're downright rude. They don't know how to hold a fork. They wave the fork around like it's a pointer. They just it's just wild out there. And they're telling jokes at the table. They're taking pictures of their plates. They're taking pictures of each other. What? What are we? Just a gadget world. We can't seem to do without our gadgets. We, we take just them can't. We, go. we don't realize what we're doing. We're just doing. We're not thinking of anyone else. Mm -hmm. So we just do it. But etiquette is universal. You say. Yes. I'm going to put the phone on the floor because All I do right. want to give respect here. So etiquette is universal. You say if we get the rules down, it's the first impressions is are what matters. Are forever. First impressions are lasting. You do not want to mess up. Okay, so how do we not Let's mess up? Let's put our napkin on the table. Okay, on our lap. On your lap. Okay. Put your napkin on your lap. All right. And one assumes that you're sitting at a table with other people, so you wait until your host picks up their fork and starts the meal before you grab it and get into it and have <laughs> eaten half your food before someone else has been served. So it always should be the host, and that's the person who invited that, you? That's correct. Okay. Mm -hmm. I have to say, Susan, there are some utensils I don't recognize. What and are oh, these? This is a fish fork and a fish knife. Okay. And it's, uh, it's really quite interesting, that extra fat tine. Yeah lifting bones and things like that when you get a whole fish. These are almost outdated pieces of silverware because today your fish comes to you at the table usually boned. Okay, well you, you said you wanted to go over the top when it comes to yeah. the, the table setting. All right, so what should we do once the food arrives, once the host picks up the fork, mm -hmm. what's the first fork we should use? The, the one on the outside. Okay. So the first, so obviously we're having fish today. Okay. Yummy. And then we're going to cut it. Okay. Turn this over so the sharp part cut and you're going to just Put it in your mouth like this. And it should be tines down? Tines down, not this way. Okay, I so have, why do we as Americans turn them up and shovel it in then? I don't know. <laughs> because they do it all the time. So This what is, is how proper, I make money. So what is the proper way of doing this? <laughs> if you're going to turn that fork over, you have to put the knife down, you got to flip the fork over, and you can eat it this way. Okay, so once you put the knife down, you turn you can, it. You have to change it. Now you can eat it this way, but most people that I uh, tutor, We'll start like this, and then they'll do this. That's incorrect. That's very incorrect. What's the correct way? Just to keep the tines just to down. Keep the tines and is down. that to keep us uh, eating smaller bites? It's just more civilized looking. And that, what about steak? This is a fish meal that we're. Yes, you know, our make believe yes, meal. Our make believe meal here. But what about if it was steak? The same thing. Steak. Eat the same way. Okay, so we just keep, you know. And then what about when we're finished? What should we do? What should we do with our napkin if we have to go to the restroom? You put it on your chair. Put the napkin on, on the chair. On your chair, not on the table. Okay, and what about if we are not, when we're completely finished with our meal, what should we do to signal that we're done? We signal that we're through with the meal and the waiter can take it. This we do our knife and fork together, sort of a 10 and 4 o'clock. Okay. And that lets the waiter know that you can take the plate. However, if people are still eating, you might want to put your fork and knife in a resting position like this. So that means don't that take That means don't take my plate. Sometimes they want to, but say not yet. All right, so what about the modern day woman? A lot of women are inviting men out. Should we pick up the check? Yes. So what's the rule? So if you invite, you If I you invite, I do. When I invite someone, I give my credit card to the maitre d'. I tell them to leave it at the desk. I'll come by and sign it. 20% tip. Do not bring that bill to the table. Okay. So it's taken care of. All right. So our purse off the, off the table off the as table. well. Off all right. Yeah, hopefully you got all of that. That's a lot of rules <laughs> thrown at you pretty quickly. We served it up fast. Susan, thank you thank so you. much. For more etiquette advice, we have put a link to Susan's school on our website, sonoranliving.com. Terry, did you get all that?